Hey guys, Lord of Flames here, and today we're going to watch or react to another SCP video. Because who knows how many SCP, who knows how many SCP videos I'm like going to watch or react. It's this video is usually made by well, you already know Tad's top videos because I watch the previous videos, which are like the top scariest SCPs, and. I can't wait for the third one, which I hopefully is not long because it'll be difficult for me to react that much long videos if my siblings or someone else upstairs in my house um, make a lot of noises. So if I do have time to react things, so I'm going to re I'm going to react to a short video, which is 17 minutes long, 46. 46 seconds. So, it's mostly about SCP-682, which it could be a powerful SCP in the franchise of for SCP. Like, is he the strongest SCP better than 173 or 096 or something else? I don't know. Because it can heal or couldn't take any damage, but in the game, Somehow it could get itself defeated by a nuke. Which I don't know how that can work if there's Wikipedia's for its skills abilities, its strength, weaknesses, all that. Could be. But here we go. I might just lower it down so you can hear my voice a little bit. Because our videos I've been through, um, you don't hear my voice lately. Only the the video. Surprised to see you again so soon. Keep it short and simple, watch. I don't like this any more than you do, 682. Let's get this done with. Not a social visit I take. Very well. Begin. Do you remember why you were contained? Opportunity. Exploitation. You distance yourself from beast and yet... Predatory attributes remain. Are we entities you imprison for the safety of your species? Okay, now that's a good way for him to say that because all of us as humanity always fear or are afraid of so many other beings out there or around this planet. Like, if we see a shark, we see it dangerous. Or if the shark might have his own ability that have his own feelings or personality that it's not like it's mindless, like it sees you and attacks you for no reason, shot properly for long for survival or something. Because we see a lot of things as dangerous. Like if we think about aliens, we think they're dangerous. We don't know if that's true or not. Like we don't know if Aliens are dangerous, you know? Like, all of us, in movies, comics, we decide to make them act like they're dangerous. It still it may not be true yet, if we ever get to meet aliens for the first time. Like, if we saw those type of um, old footages of first encounters or sightings of aliens. But, for SAPs, we always see them as dangerous species. And some of them who may be human like us, but we see them as dangerous because they couldn't control themselves or anything. Like how SCP-096 couldn't control itself to be dangerous. Because it doesn't want to see its fate. It doesn't want anyone to see its fate because he doesn't, or it, doesn't want anyone to come near him because he doesn't want to get any of them killed, but it's kind of difficult for him. But for 682, he's like a big alligator or whatnot. 
but they air all of us see them as dangerous species for no reason because they're big, sharp teeth, dangerous claws, dangerous abilities. That's how they were when they were been made or you know. It's very difficult if we see them all these species as dangerous that we just want to be ourselves. Or something. Or do you hold us on display as trophies on your endless quest to control what cannot be contained? Could you answer the question more directly, please? Sanctimonious to the end. What is your opinion of the Foundation? And why do you feel that way? You condescend me. How? Believing I am somehow inferior because you captured me. Do you not view us as superior for having contained you? Captured, yes. Contained, no. What are your desires in life? Do you have a purpose? Leave this place and your <laughs> Look, I know you want to see SCP-079, but that can only happen if you work with me here. If they don't get their answers, it's lights out for far longer than you've ever experienced. But you know it's not going to happen. What are your thoughts on SCP-343? SCP-343 says he is not your creator and has no control over you, although he claims to be God. What? It is irrelevant to me. So who has control over you? This foundation, so you claim. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, so all of us, humanity, just want to control these species for no reason. I don't know, like SCPs may have to difficult lives for their own. And they have somewhere to live and they have to go to another planet or somewhere to hide to a cave or somewhere far away from us. If they wouldn't have a home for themselves, not this facility, this foundation, just captured them, locked them away, being like how we always keep in prison them. But that's not right, you know? Because we don't know any the their whole backstory about them if they were used to be good species like us. If these SCPs that we don't want to call them that way because we don't want to be like as prisoners or anything. If they had their own type of names or something. Because if I was there, if SAPs were real, if I wasn't there, I would rather to just help those SCPs. Just let them go somewhere to have their own home far away from here. Far away from us so they have somewhere to live. Without being captured. Because you, some of us might like the SP-999, that little slime. Got a cute little one. What is your origin? The naive little creature. Want an answer? Its deficient mind can't fathom. Could you put it in terms we can understand? You already possess a piece of the puzzle. Huh. Talking about it like what does that mean? You agreed to cooperate. Uh, you agreed to indulge me. <sighs> Moving on. 
Why do you hate humans? What is there to like? Care to elaborate? Lonesome parasites. Believing you are the evolutionary pinnacle. Masters of your own design. Your delusions of self-importance. Laughable. Okay then. So there is no redeeming qualities to be found in... in humans. None that I see. Do you really hate all life? If this is true, do you wish to end it? No. No one doesn't want to end their life. Just humanity? What have we done to warrant your distaste? Putrid creatures of mush. You tell yourselves over me, but I know. Do you have an answer? Or are you not willing to share it? Find where it is. Uh-oh. Idiot, it was find where it was. <sighs> there goes that D class. Let's try this again. Would you like to see SCP-999 again? If you could find it a leash and teach it to stay, I could find use for it. To be happy. What for? <laughs> yep, we all know. Because he just won. Because he just probably wants this SAP, this little slime, to um, make him feel happy and joy, excitement, to make him laugh. Like it used to be. Because this little SAP slime can, like, I don't know, help all these other SAPs to help them laugh and happy, you know. That sort of thing. Because everybody's going to love that little SCP slime. Do you have any knowledge pertaining to SCP-001? <laughs> Do you know anything about it, 682? You cannot divulge what cannot be defined. You would be foolish to assume I can answer everything. Well, you've hardly answered anything. I have my reasons, like you have yours. Are you insinuating you've been coerced? <sighs> Just forget about that to answer. What do you think of SCP-053? Useless. Is she just as bad as the rest of us? Worse. And yet, I pity her. Care to explain? No. She no. wants to see you again. <sighs> Is this uncomfortable for you? Perhaps. Although, I assume. You'll show her wishes the same consideration as my own. Just a few more questions to go. How many? How many questions? Do you know SCP-049? On a previous escape attempt, 
I passed its cell. A mere moment of visual contact spoke of obligation and impediment. A familiar perception. Well, that's something. So, 682 and 049 just met each other for some random escape scene or something. I wonder if I decide to look back, if I if I decide to watch the interview with 049, if there was going to be a scene with him talking about that as well. I wonder if there was like a recording footage. Up around the holes or the cells where SCP-049 is, and 682 was saw him or something. Because all these SCPs just randomly meet each other a lot. Why do you fear SCP-173? Oh, uh, every SCP is afraid of this one. Because. It's a statue, a peanut statue. But it's there. It's probably don't have eyes or anything. It just... Just stand there. Until you blink, you're dead. And I don't know how 173 could fight off 682. Like, is there like an animation video or something? Because... They got to look back to Wikipedia or SCP Fandom Wiki or something like that to look at their ability skills before they start making a random video. Look at their skills, their weaknesses, everything. But I don't know if SCP-173 if 173 have a weakness. Like, does it? I don't know. Apart from it being an abomination. Yes? Uh, it. I see. Is it possible that it could happen again? I foresee it as a likely possibility. By your account, what happened between you and SCP-07-2? Uh. Insensate. You need to start taking this seriously and speaking to the- Incredible. You sit there. Confident in your abilities, believing humanity can secure itself from danger. And you think I am not being serious? It amazes me that you don't see why harbor your species. I'll take that as rhetorical and move on. Stick to the questions. No. Yeah, yeah, I know. I would not. If I was there to interview S682, I would not just give him so many questions. It would be much more difficult to like being in school. I would just give him like three or two questions and that's it. And I'll just let him go. Because I don't want to be rude. So, how many have you killed? So many to count. Say again? I stopped counting after. Do you have any regrets? <laughs> so many, but none of relevance. That's strange. Do you have any association with SCP-939? I 
found them. Entrusting on our brief encounter. And how did that go? At first, I felt elated. But it was soon replaced by foreboding. Did you actually come in contact with them? I cannot recall. What can you remember? I... Were you scared? <sighs> Next question. He doesn't want to know if he's scared or not. What would you do if you found another being like yourself? If it is weaker, I would slay it. Why? Wouldn't you align with it? You do not understand how we work. We? As in a species? <laughs> you do not understand. And what if it were stronger? What would happen then? Then you would perish. Okay, wow, it's 682. Why would you do that? Say that to your own kind, with your own species, that you slay, perish. You'll be the only one species left if you don't. Have more kind if you like have more siblings or families or friends. Any of your kind. You. What are you exactly? How well do you know SCP 079? The fact that you would ask means you know. More than enough already. Why so evasive on this one? What's so special about your relationship with 079? We are nothing more than your bargaining chips. We'll come back to this some other time. Hmm, probably he just want zero nine to help him escape because zero seven nine can hack because his abilities for his wires or something connect to his own computer can go to other electricities or anything around the facility to hack to open doors and all that. That's why. Like in the game. And that's why it happened. That's what happened. In that scene when you first start the game, when all the lights went out and all the SCPs escaped and yeah. I got this leads to it a bit, I guess. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> May I see zero seven nine? I'll try my best to uphold the deal, but I can't guarantee anything. I'll submit a request to accommodate a meeting between you and SCP. You wretched, conniving, ignorant, deceptive apes. Oh. You've brought this on yourselves. I get that's the start of the game of SCP. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, never mind. It didn't start from the game. No, <laughs> I was wrong. Is it back in its cell? What's left of the carcass? 682 almost made it this time, and now there's talk of relocating. No. 079's proximity could benefit us in the future. Right. It could really set the thing off. Until we can find a more effective way to extract tangible answers from 682, these interview methods will continue to be our main data source. The thing is, I'm not entirely sure if what he meant by you brought this on yourselves was referring to your little double cross, or us as a collective species. Mm. That stunt you pulled might have just proved his point. Time will tell. And if it doesn't, time will be all it has left. Oh, we have a villain already. A villain. That we never heard of. Or, no. But we have one simple person who's going to fight this. Matt. The guy who's answering, who's asking questions, who's mostly a good guy, just want to be nice and help or kind to this SCPs. He's trying his best. Now oh, that's an awesome video. I wonder what other SCP videos I should watch next because they're plenty in this playlist. Um, because if I go in order, the commentary. Oh, in the making? Hmm, interesting. But SCP-079, 779, and 039, hmm. And there's 049, and I might soon get to that. So I can understand what's with that thing about when 049 and 682 just first met. I wonder what happens if there was like an interview with zero, I mean, SCP-999, that little slime. I don't know if it could talk. But anyways, that was an awesome video, test of videos. You did amazing for creating this video, and I can't wait to see more, and I might plan on watching more of these. If everyone else, comment down below and leave some likes if they would like to see more SAP videos and more like these. I might get to it. I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. There's a Lord of Flames here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.